Hi, right, people. I see our fabulous Prime Minister is giving 300 million to Afghanistan. 300 million. We have people being laid off. Major companies here in Australia closing production plants. BHP talking about the sustainability of, uh, of operations here in Australia as far as their coal mines are concerned. The aluminium joint in um, uh, the Hunter Valley, 300 people getting laid off. Qantas laying off uh, 500 odd engineers or transferring some of them I suppose to uh, Queensland, closing their uh, maintenance facilities down in uh, Melbourne. You know, uh, retail here in Australia, people getting laid off left, right and centre. 300 million to uh, Afghanistan. I suppose that 300 million is to, um, because all the troops are going to pull out, so they'll have no one to grow their uh, opium. That gets made into heroin. So I suppose the 300 million there is to help employ people to uh, carry on growing the uh, poppies, the poppy fields. That's what the Americans are doing uh, now, looking after the poppy fields for the heroin trade. I mean, I think, uh, you know, 300 million of our taxpayers' money, 200 odd million to Holden, a foreign company, I've mentioned that before, a foreign company, Afghanistan, it was a foreign country. What the hell has Afghanistan got to do with Australia? I'm sure 300 million put into our um, health services would go, you know, a fair way to, um, you know, half a wing on a hospital or uh, whatever. 300 million. This goes to show you how stuffed up this country is. A little bit in the paper today, I read about the uh, the budget surplus being uh, docked it up. I can't remember, I just read the headline or something. But you know, these people will do anything. We've got BHP, biggest mining company in the world I think talking about the sustainability of, um, of their operations here in Australia, coal mines. Because of, basically because of uh, wages. It's just too expensive. We're pricing ourselves out of the market. I've mentioned before about there being a um, we should have in this country a 10% tax rate, right across the board for everything. Now we had a 10% personal income tax, um, you know, 10%. If you're earning um, 1,500 bucks a week or something like that, you know, before tax, instead of paying three or 400 or whatever the tax is, you'd pay 150. So you'd have that extra money in your pocket. You know, you, you, your employer's not paying that. It's just coming off a tax break. And that's how it should be. So that, so that it makes it more viable for these companies to keep operating and keep employing people. I mean, the people that work in, in, in mining, okay, you work long hours, you work your 12 hour shifts, and, you know, whatever you work. And it's hard, sometimes uh, boring, if you're driving a dump truck or something. I've done, I've done this. 
I've driven a dump truck. I've done heaps of things. I know what it's like. But you work your 12 hours, you reward, you get rewarded at the end of the day when you get your pay. And, you know, it's quite a... Well, it's better than walk, working in a bloody... Uh, working for Kmart or, uh, or Woolies or somewhere like that anyway, put it that way. But, like I said, we're pricing ourselves out of the market. BHP have mentioned it. Rio Tinto, I see over here in the west, are renegotiating uh, wages with, um, or they're letting the unions in or something. Oh, it was over there, over, up here. They've, I think they had um, individual contracts with each uh, employee to set their wages at whatever it was. But now apparently they're going to let the unions in, and you watch, we'll have the same problem they're having in. Queensland, unions, I've mentioned before about unions, don't get me started, but anyway, 300 million to uh, Afghanistan, mass unemployment coming, well there has been already, thousands and thousands of people laid off. We've got this carbon tax coming in on the 1st of July. You know, this carbon tax has probably affected some of those companies that are talking about uh, either shutting operations or downsizing their operations or laying off their workers, shutting them all together. Three hundred, uh, I mean... Uh, I don't know what it was. Billions of dollars lost on our stock market last week because of this uh, Greece or the European uh, financial disaster. Greece will pull out of the EU. It's the only choice they've got. They should just tell them to go. They're having new elections. They'll get the, the young bloke that got into uh, Parliament uh, in a rush at the last election, I wouldn't mind betting they'll, they'll um, back him in as uh, Prime Minister. And uh, he's dead against this, uh, any austerity, or he's dead against the EU. He'll just wipe them completely. That's what they should all do. Because they're just screwing them. The song in the background, austerity, that's what they've got in bloody Greece. Austerity, and it's coming here into Australia. Screw everybody. Take everybody down. You're not allowed to have any money. You're not allowed to enjoy yourself. You just work for us and pay your taxes. That's what it's all about. They're just bloody... These people are... I don't know. What word do you... What word do you... Do, uh, do you have for them? They're evil. Evil people. JP Morgan... Two billion dollars. Well, that's what they've said. I've heard three. I've heard sixteen billion. They wouldn't know how much they've lost. And what they've been doing is gambling with everybody else's money. People who invest money into that company. I've mentioned before, people that have got uh, money in brokerage firms, like what, like on the lines of uh, J.P. Morgan, smaller ones. You know, I've mentioned about everybody's superannuation. Now in that, uh, I, I did see a snippet, I get a report from America, financial reports every morning that I read through and I get other people sending me stuff as well on these sort of things. And I'm sure it mentioned in one of them about people's uh, pension funds in America. The one company, I think it might have been the um, MF Global, had a heap of people's uh, pension money. I think, I'm not quite sure. One of those things anyway, and, and people have been wiped out. There's been people here wiped out. Private people that have had money in, uh, in outfits that have gone down the gurgler. You know, that's what I've mentioned before. All the superannuation should have been government controlled from day dot. No one should be allowed to have personal, their own personal uh, 
uh, superannuation. It should go into the government, government use it for the infrastructure of the country. Simple as that. That's how it should have worked. Because all these private funds will go down the gurgler. Nobody will get their money. No, I'm not talking right tomorrow. I'm talking that, you know, gradually as it winds down, winds down, winds down. They can't fix a problem in bloody Greece, in Europe. Because I mentioned before, there's not enough bloody money around. But, you know, this 300 mil million that Gillard has promised. I see a photo on the pa in the paper with her with bloody uh, Obama. In the West Australian, I think it was, you know, Obama's got his arms folded, laughing his head off about something, I don't know, some bullshit they're talking about. They're probably saying, oh shit, yeah, 300 million, we just screwed, screwed the taxpayer, the taxpayers will pay it, yeah, that'll be right. We'll just put their tax up another couple of dollars a week. You know, they're full of shit, these people. <sighs> Jesus. And we're going down the same path as every other country. Just screw, screw, screw. Uh, that's my wind. Catch it.